test on Tuesday. Uh, we already discussed what would be on it. That it was mostly just classifying numbers and then distinguishing between number properties. You do get to use your cute little handout from yesterday on the test. Make sure you have it. You know what I'm talking about, right? You little handout we filled in it yesterday. The good news is that Ms. Compton's not going to talk long today at all. I'm not. The bad news is you still have hints to do. Um, we have those three things that are on the list. So most groups did not get to or even start to finish their classifying numbers checkpoint. The first step, did you finish your classifying numbers checkpoint? The second step would be a new property of numbers worksheet. But let's face it. If Urban hasn't finished the old one, he needs to finish it, turn it in before he worries about the new one. So it's possible you're still a little behind. And then if somehow Brittany gets both of those things done, I'm going to go ahead and give her the review for Tuesday's test. But even though I'm giving Brittany the review, let's be honest, that's all I was planning on doing Monday anyway. Reviewing for the test, making sure we're ready for the test. There's going to be a new math workshop. I was I meant to print it out and hand it to you already since I didn't. If Brittany's trying to be an overachiever, I'm going to post it in Google Classroom, so she can go ahead and get ahead. That's a great idea. Um, but this is what we were going to do on Monday anyway. If I'm not going to see your face on Monday, which, let's be honest, six period is with me for like two hours, it would be okay if I don't see your face on Monday. Basically, during the entirety of the eclipse, they decided you need to be with me. I don't have the glasses. I think I can stream it on the thingy. Stream it? Like, 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 like they're filming it outside school and we can watch it. But I mean, like, how long do you watch it? Like, five minutes and you're like, okay. I don't have to. You're like doing your own thing. You look at the now and then. That's, I guess, what the plan is. But I totally understand. It's not often. I'm recording, so I almost got all the things. It's not often you get a free pass in life. I totally understand if you're taking advantage of it. Totally get it. Definitely get it. Moving on. If you are taking that free pass Monday, which I do understand, the review, I'm going to post the key Monday afternoon. Uh, but you need to have it complete, and it needs to be in my hands first thing Tuesday. Not in my hands, that's a lie, in the drawer first thing Tuesday. And then if you want to get a head start on the math workshop, they will be posted this weekend as well. Okay, as soon as we go over this question, I'm done talking to you in that you have those three things to finish, and you don't really, well, you need me to check things, but you don't need me to teach you any new things. You don't already know all the things. Okay, as for the bowing here, uh, to try to get out of negative point situation, can some group tell me the formula for the area of a circle? Is it one a, pale. That's not right. Or, it's got pi. One half pi r squared. Square. Who said pi r squared? Okay, I heard I it, it. No, I didn't. from the back first, so I guess if we're going to give her credit, we'll give five credit. But I'm pretty sure Brittany knows this one, so we'll give Brittany the head start on that one. Can you tell me the circumference formula, Brittany? No? Wait, what? Okay, well then we'll make it free reign. Does someone know the circumference formula? You can shout it out. Okay, I'm going to give one and four a point. It, I'm going to write two pi r. Pi times diameter is completely correct. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, I always did pi times diameter myself. But there's a reason we want 2 pi r right now. There's something that both of these have in common. What is it that they, they both have the r in common? You can have your point. And the pi, but again, pi is still a number. I'm looking for variables they got in common. I'm looking for variables, and they had the r. Okay. So technically, what we have right now is the area formula of a circle. But we need the radius to get the area. I need a person. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, technically, we need the radius to get the area. So what we actually have is area as a function of radius. In fact, we also have circumference as a function of radius. We need our in order to figure out A, we need R in order to figure out C. We need them. And you're like, Miss Compton, that's great, but the problem says something about A and C. There are no R's. And you are so right. So we've got to kill off the R. Okay, so if we have the formula circumference equals 2 pi R, 
How can we rearrange that formula so that R is all by itself? Okay, I heard it from 1 and 5. Have a point. Okay, if we divide by 2 pi, we've got circumference divided by 2 pi equals R. Everyone good with that? So we used to have area equals pi R squared. We used to. We're too cool for that now. We don't want to have any R's. We only want to have C's. What can we plug in instead of R? C over 2 pi. That's why we just solved. You passed your other math classes and made it to me. So you know how to substitute. So everywhere you see an R, we put C over 2 pi. It used to be pi R squared. Now it's C over 2 pi, pi C over 2 pi squared. Could we simplify this formula further? Absolutely. Are we going to? Nah. Looks good enough as it is. So now we actually have the area in terms of circumference. But sadly, we're not done because it says we have to identify the independent and dependent variable. So in this thing that we wrote, do we need the circumference to figure out the area or do we need the area to figure out the circumference? You need the circumference. Need circumference. Circum if I could spell. Need circumference for area. So if we're labeling people independent and dependent, who's what? Circumference is the independent, and then area is dependent, and every group can have a point. Are there any questions about this? No, it would be the question I would ask is, did they actually ask something like this on ACT? It wasn't worded quite this way, but there was a problem like similar to this. And it's a smart kind of problem because it involves geometry. Do you know your area formulas? It involves you understanding function notation. And then it also involves you rearranging a formula. So yeah, they like it when they can combine all the worlds at once. Kind of smart of them. Okay. Any questions about any of this? Okay, well, on yesterday, on yesterday, yesterday we were working on a group checkpoint. When your group thinks they have it finished, bring it to me. As is with checkpoints, you must actually finish it in order for it to be, or like I must say it's awesome in order for me to stop bothering you about it. Sarah, you got your hand up. 